Ciao a tutti! Today we are gonna have a look at the knife that I already showed you in a previous video. The video was an unboxing. And the knife is made by the Cass brothers. But first of all, who are these Cass brothers? Claudio, Ariel and Marcelo Sobral, as known actually as Cass brothers, they started working in 2005 as knife makers. They are from Argentina. And the previous job that they had was in graphic. And I think that this has a lot to do with what they achieved in the knife making world. As you can see in the uh, pictures that I'm going to show you now, which are all taken from their websites, you can see that they have been making a, a knives that they have created a new language, a new way of um, considering the design of knives. Uh, the curves are aggressive but elegant. The shapes are curvy, pointy, sharp, and, but they always tinker with the world of fantasy without ever losing the um, attachment to a, a language that is very defined and very refined as well. Even the names that they give to their uh, knives like Dragon, Godzilla, they kind of show you that they are not afraid to push the limits, to always uh, um, find uh, the right balance between what reality is and fantasy is, without though um, losing uh, the elegant lines that they are well known for. Let's have a look now at the knife that uh, we are actually reviewing. And I think that this uh, is uh, really an example of their work and their design. Um, I already showed you in before the knife, but here it is again. Uh, I didn't give you the dimensions, and uh, we are going to do it right now. The knife is um, somewhere... So the total is 30, 31 centimeters, 31, 32 centimeters, or let me have a look in inches, 12.5. Uh, the blade is uh, 17 uh, centimeters or 7 inches or a little bit less than 7 inches. Anyway, I don't think that dimension is dimensions are really so important in this kind of knives anyway um, when you first look at this knife the, of course the first thing that you notice is the uh, type of construction which is called the keyhole i asked the the brothers actually um, to tell me if there was a name of this blade since they usually uh, have the tendency to call them with uh, different names uh, but actually, they told me that they simply called it keyhole. keyhole. Um, and this was their first keyhole ever. Uh, it was done somewhere two years ago. A uh, random pattern of Damascus, as you can see. I'm going to show you a little bit better. The blade is a little bit dirty because it's protected. Uh, as you can see, the Damascus. I actually, uh, I, I really like uh, this pattern um, and especially the, the way it is showing on the blade because it's not too aggressive. And so the, the overall shape of the blade is not shadowed by the, the pattern of the, of, the, of the Damascus. Anyway, let's go back to the, what we were saying. So this is a keyhole, as you can see, basically what it means is like this you, this part you, as you can see as the shape of a, a keyhole and uh, if you try to ask knife makers to do something of this kind that you will see that they will be a little bit reluctant because it's actually very difficult to make uh, um, a blade of this shape with uh, these dimensions and to make a keyhole and uh, i asked i asked them if they found it that it was more or less difficult to do it with the carbon fiber and actually they said that it's a 
uh, a little bit more difficult because of the hardness of, of carbon fiber. Carbon fiber. So, yeah, try to imagine that this is coming all from a bar, or actually a multiple bars, then forged and everything, but from a, a shape that is nothing uh, compared to what it is. So it's, it's just a rectangular shape. And they, through forging, hammering, and uh, stock removal, they made, they, they made these beautiful lines and the keyhole. So it's very, very difficult to give then the shape of the handle because it's not just the keyhole, but you have a, sub, a so, sort of sub-hilt and a guard, all in one, so an integral. So all together um, from a single uh, forge. The, um, the other thing I think that, of course, you... you you can you can see and the reason why I put that image uh, as a title to, to 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 this video is that if you can see this this shape and I asked already to uh, some people who are not knife lovers I asked them what do you think that this knife is for or was used by and um, they almost all uh, come out with the idea of a knife for a pirate. And it is incredible because actually I don't think there is any uh, particular shape that a pirate would use, but it's uh, some, somehow it's engraved in our minds, maybe through movies or through fantasies, or that a, a, a pirate would uh, use something flamboyant, uh, something this kind of uh, aggressive but elegant like maybe the head that they use. And uh, you see that here there is a lot going on. Because I asked them, why did you choose this kind of shape? And they, they replied that basically it's a shape, it's an aggressive shape. But if I can, I, I, I would like to disagree a little bit with them in the sense it's for sure very aggressive. But at the same time, it is very elegant and flowing. Uh, and actually, a pirate, I think, would be happy to have a knife of this kind, not simply because it looks badass, but even because it reminds me of water, actually. Uh, you know, this, I could see this, like, of the horizon in, uh, from a boat where there are big waves coming at you, and uh, the surface of the water that is uh, uh, shaped by the wind. Uh, and here, instead, you have... Uh, the, the, the boat that is going through the, the sea uh, or the sails that are shaped by the wind. And I think that all this, and as I don't know if you can see even here, there is a curve and the, the blade is very thin there. Uh, but all these shapes, they take all the eyes towards the tip of the, of the blade and give you a sense of flow, a sense of motion. There is motion in this blade, although it's fixed, of course. Um, the fuller, which sometimes can be, um, can fill too much a blade. In this case, I think it is uh, uh, very well uh, designed uh, not to give, uh, not to take the eye off from the overall design of the, of the blade, but actually to melt into the curves and the uh, gentle shapes of the overall of, of the knife. The uh, construction, of course, uh, they are well known for um, having some of the best uh, craftsmanship out there in the knife community. And uh, you can see it even here. Don't think that to have such a straight blade is so easy um, in this kind of complex uh, design and, uh, and um, keyhole structure. And so it, the blade, it, although it doesn't exist a perfect knife, but perfect knife, but I think that this can be considered almost perfect. Uh, the, um, the construction, if you want to go from a, a, a ergonomics point of view, 
is very good for handling the, the, the blade in, in different positions. But I don't think that actually we, ha we have to, to look too much into that because um, the other thing that I would like to say that these kind of knives, and I know some of you will disagree with me, are a kind of art. I know that uh, most of you out there would prefer knives that are more useful, uh, that, are, that can be used uh, for hunting or for bushcrafting for survival, for self-defense. And I think that if you want to take this knife to the field, you can actually use it for that. But is its beauty, and of course even its price, uh, will, uh, I think, uh, deter you from using it. Even if you were a rich guy who could use it in the field, I don't think you would uh, have a, a to risk to, to, to damage it because you have almost a sort of feeling that this is something precious you know apart from the money is precious because of the work that has been done into it and uh, because it you can see it is a unique piece so i to finish the video i would like to even start to say that uh, this knife will be part or even of an exhibition that i'm organizing now uh, i'm inviting different knife makers and uh, I hope I can give you more details about it uh, in the next future, but it will be held uh, in, uh, in July. So I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed this knife. I say goodbye, ciao to all of you, and see you in the next video. Ciao!